Room 21 Rockstar families, and welcome to our weekly vodcast. I hope that you are enjoying this incredibly um, warm weekend, especially um, after all of the snow that we've gotten over the last couple of weeks um, at home with your family today. So I have a ton of announcements to get to, and then I'll send you right off to the strategy session. First of all, I would like to congratulate this week's Rockstar of the Week, Mr. Jacob Selecki. Jacob has been incredible in taking the challenge to take his greetings to the next level. And he's just been living and breathing the Barrett Academy Constitution on a daily basis, not only in class, but also um, throughout the entire building. And I, I would um, venture to believe in his everyday life as well. So congratulations, Jacob, this week's rock star of the week. A couple of other quick announcements, guys. Number one, on Wednesday, we do have an early out day at 1.10 p.m. Okay, um, the school board voted last week to make March 1st now a day of no school for students um, uh, just because of the safety concerns that um, come along with having the primary, um, uh, especially since Kate Waller Barrett is one of the voting places um, on that particular day. So, no school on March 1st, but we do still have an early out day um, this coming Wednesday, so make sure you mark that on your calendar at 1.10 p.m. Okay, guys, I think those are all the announcements that I have at this time. At, now I'm going to send you over to the strategy session. Okay, Room 21 Rockstars, I'm starting you off on our class webpage, and I'm going to take us right over to the vodcast section this week because I have a ton of cool strategies to share with you guys to help strengthen our understanding of measuring angles, classifying angles, and all of those great things that we have been talking about in class. So before we go any further, I did want to show you guys a really cool video I found online that kind of sums up how to measure those angles with that protractor. So check it out. Okay, guys, so that kind of sums up um, everything we've been working on last week in class in terms of measuring angles with a protractor. So I have a couple of cool um, sites that you can go on to this week to practice using a protractor electronically and also on, in working on finding angles in our everyday life. So um, first of all, under the naming angles category here, um, 
one of the the first site that I have here, guys, is simply um, kind of a tutorial lesson. Okay, it's on PBS. You know, it's not going to have you actually. Um, you know, solving specific problems or determining angle measures, but it's going to kind of review obtuse right acute angles. So you may want to go ahead and click launch on this. Okay, you'll have to go in here. Once again, it's this site right here. You click launch and it's going to take you through an interactive lesson, kind of like the Khan Academy. So that can help you there. Now, if you actually want to practice, I have a few sites. The first site, and let me uh, give my internet one quick second to get there. The first site is pretty basic in just the fact that you are looking at an angle, looking at the protractor lined up on the angle, and determining is an acute, obtuse, right, or straight. Okay, so if we're in this instance, is this angle acute, right, or obtuse? Well, remember, we're looking at this right here, so this is where it could fool you, okay? We're not going from zero the whole way up. This is definitely an acute angle. It's less than 90 degrees. So if you show your work with those, just sketch out the angle. Tell me acute right or obtuse. Give me an estimation for how um, big you think the angle is, how many degrees you think the angle is, and I'll give you some house points there. Now I'm going to take us back because I have a couple of other sites that I think are really worthwhile. So that's kind of just the general basis. You can get a house point for each of those. Now if you actually want to practice measuring angles with the protractor, I have two different sites for you to visit. The first one they already have the angles lined up. Now I think this would be a good site for those of you who are still having trouble determining how to start counting to determine what the degrees uh, or, or what the angle measure really is. So here I, I go in the outer circles because here's zero and it goes up to about 70. You can hit submit and see what happens there. Okay. Well, now once again do the same thing. Draw, sketch out the angle. Tell me what type of angle it is and also tell me um, what you measured. You can get a house point for each of those. Now the other one is really cool here under Math Playground, only because you actually have to move the protractor, and that's kind of um, it adds that challenge and that more real life app, you know, um, application. So if you guys check this one out, here's my angle here, but I'm gonna have to click on the rotate button because I know I have to line up my zero on one of the rays of the angle to determine the actual measure. And then if I start on zero and go to the other ray, I have 20 degrees and you can check it. Okay, so once again, draw out those angles, tell me the measures, you can get a house point there. So this site is going to be working on naming angles and the two that I just showed you are more focused on actually measuring the angles. Okay, now I have one other really cool task that you guys can check out and that would actually deal with finding angles in our everyday life. So I put up a Padlet here Okay, and I'm going to give you five house points for your efforts with this. But what I really want you to focus on is finding angles anywhere. And you can do that in a couple of ways. So I want you to just put your first name, okay. And then under here you can either type things and say, for instance, oh, maybe the floor tile in my kitchen, um, I see a bunch of right angles, okay. Those are 90 degrees, okay. Or you can go ahead and add a picture, which I think would be really cool. Um, so you can um, access your camera. Oop, it just took me down here. Um, or you can find a link on your computer, which um, some of you are really good at. So you may want to give that a try as well. And you can earn yourself five house points there. Okay. So those are some of the math challenges this week. Now, the math challenge this week, which is written on the board, you can either solve it here on a sheet of paper, put it into the math challenge of the week folder. Here's how you can get yourself a four in terms of angle measuring angles, guys. So you have to determine the unknown angle measure without using a protractor of this said angle, angle X. You have to explain in words how you formulated your estimation. Now remember, this arc here tells us this is what we're measuring. I know that this angle is obtuse. And now I know my blue angle, angle X, is a reflex angle. So think about what you know about right, acute, obtuse, straight angles, and how you can use that knowledge to determine the measure of that reflex angle. So you can get yourself five house points for that. Give that some thought, guys. That is your math challenge of the week, okay? A couple of other quick things that you can go ahead and add. Let me actually just refresh my page really quickly here. Um, 
my internet's kind of going slow today. Sorry about that, guys. So under reading, you can go ahead and add some wonders that you have. You know, Sarah wonders, how did Granny get the fever? How old is Mrs. Murdo? How big is Mrs. Murdo's house? How does Poppy feel about not having Granny around? So add some of those things that you wonder about the city of Ember, some of those unanswered questions, and you can go ahead and add some house points up on the board for that as well. Okay, our writing fix of the week, I just thought this was a really cool picture. I want you to tell me what is happening here. Write some type of creative piece. Try to use some extraordinary language in that piece. I'll have you share it during sacred writing time, and you can get five house points for that as well. I just thought that was a really cool picture and addition there. Now, in terms of science, guys, you know, we have our, our science test coming up on Wednesday that's going to review um, sound and light, okay? That particular study video is going to be posted later in the day on Sunday. So I want you to check back to our homepage of RikerRockStars.Weebly.com and right about here under what's happening in room 21, you're going to see a giant picture that you're going to be able to click on and that will take you to a study video to help you to prepare and study for that test coming up. You know, as most of you have been studying throughout the entire unit, so really... I think you're going to do an excellent job on the test. And honestly, that assessment is going to be a great opportunity for you to show off that amazing effective effort that you have put forth uh, the whole time during this unit. So go ahead and give that a try. And then there will be house point opportunities throughout that study video as well. So I'm sure by now you are all waiting for... The secret hashtag of the week, and you know guys, this is going to be so exciting this week in class because we are actually going to be painting um, in math. It is going to be so fun. It is a first for Mr. Reichard as a teacher, and um, maybe for you as well, especially in a fifth grade classroom. So the hashtag for the week is hashtag painting in fifth grade, hashtag painting in fifth grade. You have to say that as if you are an artist, and you know artists have an incredible passion for what they're doing as well, so make sure you say that with some awesome passion and excitement. Um, for our upcoming lessons this week. At this time, I'm going to send you guys back over to Mr. Okay, we're 21 Rockstar families. I hope that those strategies were successful. As always, let me know. Too much, too little, just right. But that will help you to cement in the different skills and strategies that we are learning this week in class in Room 21. It is going to be an incredible week of learning indeed. So, as always, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, do not hesitate to contact me because, as always, you guys are the incredibly best families in Stafford County, and I will see you all next week.